So here I am at CCS and another day I have looked across at the new campus being built and it looks great. Um, especially that pool that they're building, it's right beside the maths department here. And I was really interested in how many tiles it took them to make it, those blue tiles. So I decided to go down and have a little look. And year seven, you're going to help me with this. This is your assessment for the measurement unit. How many tiles does it take to build a swimming pool like we have currently been built in CCS? Okay, so year seven, I've been given the tour of the pool by Pak Wayan, the main man here. So 125 for six meters. Uh, 12 meter. For 12 meters. 12 meter. And then six meter slooping. Yeah. And then seven meter, 180. So Pak Wayan is suggesting that uh, it's shallow, slopes a little bit, and then it's deep. Okay, I come up with an alternate uh, suggestion to how you might deal with that later on in the video. Uh, you may need to include that in your diagrams. You can use either one. It is up to you. Uh, you can comment on the accuracy of both. And uh, now I look around the pool to see if there's any issues with um, some of the measurements. If you take a look at this uh, ladder, how does it attach to the inside of the pool? If you can see here, there's a circular attachment. That's not on the blue tiles, but there's a similar one at the bottom of this. So there's blue uh, on the blue tiles, there's this circular uh, patch. Let's get a measurement for that. So you can pause the video here to see and maybe zoom in to see. And uh, now let's look at where the lane lines would enter. So you see this circle here. So these are for the lane lines enter. Okay, so I've just taken a measurement for the uh, where the lane lines are going to go and it's 7.5 centimeters in diameter. So there's five either end. So there's going to be six lanes. There's five either end. That might affect the tiles. So the uh, width of the pool is 12.5 meters and the uh, length of the pool is 25 meters. So Mr. Wyan has told me that the small blue tiles are 10 centimeters um, across and 20 centimeters down. So that's about all the measurements I'm going to give you. But I will go over to the board now and give you a little bit extra help with the diagram. Okay, let's go. Hi, you're Stefan. I'm here to help you with your math assessment. Okay, so let's look at uh, our diagram of the pool. So I put in uh, a net diagram here. So I've unfolded the sides of the pool and made it a 2D diagram. Uh, you're willing to try a 3D diagram, but it's not necessary. You won't get any extra marks. I've made an assumption as well that there is a constant slope uh, from the shallow end to the deep end instead of what Pak Wyan was explaining where there's kind of uh, multiple layers and um, so we're going to treat it as if it's a triangle on uh, top of a rectangle for, to account for that slope and that will help us with the calculations. Uh, if you want you can uh, do as uh, Pak Wyan was, was showing and split it up a little bit more um, it won't give you any extra marks, but it'd be interesting to see, could you do it? But this is more than enough for uh, our areas. Now, uh, because I folded it, uh, it might look a little bit weird, but hopefully you understand. And I'll help you with some of the measurements on this diagram. Uh, so 25 meter long pool and it's 12 and a half meter wide. So 12.5 uh, meters is its width from there to there. And the, uh, the length of this is the deep end, so this would fold up to be uh, a presumption of 1.8 meters. But uh, if you look at the pool water level, uh, that number 1.8 meters is the water level. So it is up to you how much you adjust that 1.8 meters by, because the water level will not be up to the top of the pool. So maybe you can use the tiles to get a better estimation of what that depth is. 
Okay, so when you want to compare it to the side here, uh, this entire side will be 1.8 meters, but it'll match whatever you said this was. So if you said it was 2 meters, it would be 2 meters as well. Um, what would be the height of the rectangular bit? Well, that would be the same height as the uh, shallow end, wouldn't it? And we'll see how you would adjust for that. So we've got a rectangle we need to get the area of here, length times width, and then we've got a triangle where you have to do the base times the perpendicular height. Remember this is the same as this side, that would be the same as that side. This, is it the same as this end? Not sure, maybe you can tell me. Okay, so we need to get the areas of all these shapes. You need, there are, the base of the pool here is one shape, and a two and three are these two rectangular sides, and then the adjustments for the deep end would be the same, four and five either side, and then six and seven. So those looks like there's seven areas you have to get, and add them together to get the full surface area that would be covered with tiles. There may be a couple of adjustments you can make if you're trying to aim for that highest possible grade. You may need to take into account in the surface area some circles. Now, I suggested in the video there were some circles on either end. Uh, I think there was five. I'm going to put in four, but I think there was five uh, circles either end. And there were some circles for the, where the ladders went in. How many of those was there? Okay. You might need to adjust your surface area for these circular inserts, where they insert the rope lanes and where they insert the, uh, the ladders on the side of the pool. So you may need to adjust by getting the area of those circles. And, okay, so this is my diagram help for the pool part.